Uh, joining us now are a couple of people. Uh, Del Feldpaw, she is the director of, of The Lifespan of a Fact, a play that is going to premiere November 5th at the Birmingham Village Players, and Leon Judd, who is the president of the National Alliance on Mental Illness of Metro Detroit. Uh, joining us to talk about uh, The Lifespan of a Fact, which is a comedy that is coming up that is talking about a very serious topic and raising awareness for a very serious topic as, as well. And so, uh, Dale, Leon, thanks for being with us today. Thank Glad you. To Appreciate it. So let's start with you, Dale. Tell us a little bit about this play and why uh, the Birmingham Village Players decided to partner with NAMI of Metro Detroit uh, in premiering this play and running this play beginning November 5th and running uh, through November 21st. Um, well, this, um, I found this a very interesting play when I uh, uh, first uh, read it and heard about it. Um, and when I pitched it to the Village Players Board, I said it was a comedy because there are a lot of laughs in it and there are, are a lot of, uh, 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 there's a lot of laughs in the conflict between the writer and the fact checker, but it does deal with a very serious issue, which is teen suicide, uh, death by suicide. Um, but it's it's kind of tangential. Uh, uh, an distinguished essayist has written an article, um, though he would call it an essay. It's very particular on that point, um, describing, um, uh, chronicling a young man who, uh, and, and this is a true story, um, uh, jumped off the tower of the Stratosphere Hotel in Las Vegas, which is 11,000, 1,149 feet high. Um, but the essay that he wrote, uh, talks about much more than, that's not the complete focus of it. It's a, a, a work that deals with Las Vegas and uh, the whole culture uh, of the time. Um, uh, so the, while the, the death by suicide theme is present, it's not the overwhelming theme, uh, the, the main story is, uh, does, does a story have to be factual to be true? With the author believing that facts can be arranged and nudged and altered in the service of a greater truth, and the fact checker uh, believing that no, it has to be exactly accurate as it happened. Um, and that's the, the, the conflict in the play. And uh, there's a third character of the editor of the magazine, which um, is going to publish or is considering publishing uh, this piece. And uh, she's kind of the referee between the uh, author and the fact checker. We're joined by Dale Feldpaw. She is the director of The Lifespan of a Fact, which is uh, going to be premiering November 5th at the Birmingham Village Players. They will have shows on Fridays and Saturdays, uh, November 5th and 6th. Sorry, uh, yeah, sorry, Friday and Saturday, November 5th and 6th, uh, the 12th and the 13th and the 19th and the 20th at, at 8 p.m. And then Sunday, November 7th, uh, 14th and 21st at 2 p.m. at the Birmingham Village Players Playhouse on Woodward in uh, Birmingham. Tickets are $20 plus a $1 processing fee for each ticket order. And you can purchase those tickets online at BirminghamVillagePlayers.com. We're also joined by the president of, of uh, the National Alliance on Mental on mental illness of Metro Detroit, Leon Judd, with us on the megacast as well. And so, Leon, what drew NAMI of Metro Detroit to partner with the Birmingham Village Players in premiering this play and in launching uh, this production in, in Birmingham? What ultimately led your organization to jump on with this and, and put your support behind this to raise that awareness? Well, thank you. Yeah, it, it is a critically important topic and uh, the play, I think, is going to help uh, bring light uh, to this. Uh, Nash in October, it was uh, National Suicide uh, Awareness Month. So NAMI Metro was involved in a significant number of the American uh, 
uh, suicide prevention walks that went on. And what we know is as a result of uh, the pandemic and other things, there's been a significant increase in the number of suicides as well. So, you know, when you look at numbers uh, saying that, you know, suicide is the second leading cause of death for ages 10 to 4, 24 years old from those studies, and 90% of those also have an underlying mental health condition, anything that we can do in our community to raise awareness uh, about this is uh, critically important and will actually save lives. So our mission obviously is to improve the quality of life for family members as well as individuals who, are, who deal with a mental health condition because uh, suicide could be, uh, death by suicide could be one of the ultimate uh, factors that uh, is there. So uh, we're pleased to be involved uh, with this play. We're joined by Dale Feldposh, the director of the lifespan of a fact at the Birmingham Village, through the Birmingham Village Players, and Leon Judd, the president of NAMI of Metro Detroit. And so, uh, in this partnership, and, th and this can be for either one of you or, or even both of you, Dale and, and Leon, uh, with this partnership, what is being done? Obviously, the play is going to be drawing some attention to uh, teen suicide and ultimately will be sparking those conversations. Uh, within the cast, within the crew, and certainly within the audience uh, from viewing the play and from being part of that experience. Uh, but what else is being done through this production to raise that awareness and, and, and raise funding even for the programs through the National Alliance on Mental Illness and, and other organizations that are helping to prevent teen suicides? Let's, let's start with you. Well, I know that we're we're having uh, lobby displays uh, for uh, NAMI, um, and uh, you know we're just uh, hoping to raise awareness. Uh, Leon, you may know more. I, I'm not sure. I, I haven't directly been involved. This is. I'm going to give a shout out to Chris Kelly, uh, Chris Kelly, our our uh, publicity person who has put this all together. And she could probably answer that better than I. I've just been focused on getting the thing up on stage. <laughs> uh, so, but I know that we're gonna have a display um, and I believe we're accepting uh, donations. If if we're not, I definitely wanna make one my <laughs> personal self, because this is an important, uh, very important issue. And, you know, people that we know very, are very closely have been touched by it. Um, yeah, in dealing with uh, Chris, you know, we've supplied a couple of uh, large display items uh, that brings awareness to uh, mental health and suicide, especially to young people. And uh, there'll be more information that would be available for people to pick up uh, as well, uh, because uh, it is it is significant. Uh, the, the I can't stress enough how much impact the pandemic has caused to so many people. I mean, our helpline, crisis helplines, have uh, jumped 100%, over 100%. Uh, just with people, this isolation is uh, one of the biggest things that impact somebody, especially with you know, anxiety and depression. And with many of those people, it can lead to uh, attempts of suicide or suicide ideation. And so, and so, Leon, as this pandemic has gone on, we're 20 plus months into that. We know the impact that it's had generally across the board on people's mental health, but particularly for teens, uh, being that, that they've experienced that isolation of the pandemic as well. They were, uh, their, their regular lives and their developmental lives were disrupted by being out of school and out of those social situations. And of course, you know, it, it can be, I'm sure it was a very confusing situation for them as well, not entirely understanding the magnitude in some cases of what we were going through worldwide. <clears throat> How much of an impact did that have on the need for uh, NAMI's services to, con to right. be uh, available to people and the need for more awareness of those services and other mental health services in our communities? Yeah, NAMI is, is an all volunteer uh, organization. And it's uh, everything is peer run. So it's family members who have a loved one with a mental illness that are involved. And it's individuals themselves who are dealing with a mental illness who are in recovery. So what it's done is all of the crisis calls that we're getting, if we can't get them referred out to specific services that are provided in the community, 
we have like 10 family support groups in the tri-county area we have six support groups for individuals who are uh, struggling with a mental health condition themselves we also have education programs that we have for families that that have just exploded uh, for people who have a loved one with a mental illness and are trying to learn more trying to learn what it is that they can do to help them because quite honestly suicide ideation comes up in many of those crisis call uh, calls that we get. We're talking about Dale. Falcon. One uh, one point Please. in the in the play. I'm sorry to interrupt, no, but um, it um, in the play and in uh, John Degada's original essay, uh, it talks about um, Las Vegas in particular having a very poor suicide hotline program uh, and I'm sure there are other communities uh, that could be bolstered by NAMI and their efforts in um, uh, um, uh, you know trying to um, help people that are in in crisis we're joined by Dale Felpaw. She's the director of the Lifespan of a Fact at the Birmingham Village Players. Learn more information uh, on their showtimes and purchase tickets on, on their website at birminghamvillageplayers.com. You can also get more information and purchase tickets by calling 248 644 2075. That is 248 644 2075. And Dale, in terms of the conversations within the cast and the crew, how have those been sparked by participating in this play? Have you had those kinds of discussions openly in the forum with your cast and your crew? Because uh, rehearsing for this play, preparing for this play, it's, as much as it is a comedy, the subject matter is emotionally taxing, and especially with what we're going through, I would imagine those conversations were uh, pretty easy to spark, or at least uh, pretty easy to have be sparked by going through this experience. Uh, yeah, the uh, the cast has uh, there. Uh, they've been a mar they've done marvelous work and uh, uh, really have committed uh, very strongly to this. But we have yes had some in, in very uh, meaningful discussions um, about the impact uh, of this. Um, you know, we've sh my wife and I have shared. My wife is the assistant director for the show, Kathy. Um, and we've shared some of our experiences and they've shared some of theirs. One of the cast members is a doctor in his real life uh, occupation. And, um, you know, he's he's had experiences. And, you know, we've all been very, uh, uh, very cognizant of um, uh, the the deeper um, uh, message in the show regarding the the suicide issue as well as uh you know the truth versus fiction kind of portion of it so yeah it's 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 uh, the play itself has a lot to unpack and uh i think that audiences will have uh many things to uh discuss and and think about and and chew over and that they'll be entertained by uh the performances and and all the work that we put into it and then leon uh just a few more minutes before we go uh, leon judd the president of nami of metro detroit is also with us uh on the megacast today leon what are some of those programs that or that are available for teens or for teens families that uh, may be dealing with a mental health crisis or may be having suicidal ideations how can they of course uh, get get help uh, preventatively from nami of metro detroit uh, and, and try to intervene as early as possible uh, in in that crisis yeah it's it's not only nami of detroit uh, or right. nami of oklahoma and macomb counties there's a lot of agencies uh, that are out there that yes. can help as well they have some wonderful programs, uh, they, but people have got to commit to doing uh, this. Uh, there is a significant problem. It's called anosognosia. Yeah, what it is is a lack of insight for so many people that have don't even have insight to the fact that they've got a mental health condition, so they let it go. Getting therapy and getting treatment is critical, uh, especially in the early stages of early or getting early awareness, but uh, also. Uh, we have these uh, support groups that I talked about earlier for uh, people who are struggling with a mental health condition themselves. You can get those at namimetro.org, all one word, nami, N-A-M-I-M-E-T-R-O.org. 
And uh, on that home page, you'll see something that says support groups. You can click on that and all of the support groups will be listed. Most of those are being run via Zoom uh, as because of the pandemic still. Uh, we typically meet in hospitals and churches uh, where we have these support group meetings, but because of the pandemic, hospitals still are not allowing uh, groups like ours in uh, the, their conference rooms. So we're anxiously awaiting to get back in. So in the meantime, we do a lot on our helplines uh, for support and getting people directed to the right kinds of services as well as uh, our Zoom meetings uh, that we have. So those are things, just understanding what the warning signs are for suicide uh, can save a life. And uh, people need to understand that. And they need to understand the suicide prevention hotline, which is 800-273-TALK. And uh, getting that number out to people, uh, you know, these are non-judgmental people that will be answering the phone and can help people get through what could be a troubling time. Well, uh, well uh, Dale, Leon, we appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us today uh, to talk about this upcoming play, Lifespan of Effect, at Birmingham Village Players running November 5th through the 21st on a, on a number of different dates and, and times. You can find more information on BirminghamVillagePlayers.org and learn more about Ma uh, NAMI of Metro Detroit at NAMIMetro.org. And uh, appreciate you, you two coming on to talk about this and to uh, bring awareness to the campaign for bringing a greater awareness to teen suicide and, and hopefully preventing some many more in the future. Hey, thank you, thank for you very us. much.